Hi, welcome to the first video about secrets of Adobe Bridge. It's very interesting when I speak to people about Adobe Bridge, especially on the courses, and we talk about Bridge on Photoshop courses as an example, people start thinking it's like, what is Adobe Bridge? So many people have never used Bridge before, they don't even know what the Bridge is. So that's the, I'm in Adobe Bridge, I'll show you what it does, what it is. It is a file browser, so you can see I've got my content on of my desktop. On the left hand side there's a folder tab that shows you the content on your computer. So I could go through the folders here, I could double click on my folder and then double click on documents to get access to the documents I'm having here. Or maybe double click on web design as an example. Bridge can preview all sorts of file formats recognized by Adobe software as an example. I'm going to go into something that's got loads of images. So I'll scroll down in my folders panel and I'll go into the pictures folder. And here I've got a subfolder called Dartmoor. So I'll go and look in here. There should be some JPEG images in here. And of course we can preview JPEG images. But let me show you a couple of really, really interesting features in, in Adobe Bridge. I'm using Adobe Bridge CS5, but this will also work in Adobe Bridge CS4. I'm going to highlight a couple of images. So I'm using control key. This on a PC there will be command key on the Mac. I'll select these three, four, five, six, maybe seven images. I can preview them in a preview panel on the right hand side, but I can also use the space bar to preview them full screen. Now it jumps full screen. I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard, left and right arrow keys to move between different images. Perfect for creating presentations. The person who you're showing the presentation to doesn't need to know what software you're using. So you can do it really easily here in Adobe Bridge as a manual slideshow. We can also create PDF slideshows in Adobe Bridge, but we're going to talk about it in a later video. So just so you know, <laughs> stick with me. So I'm going to exit this view mode by pressing Alt F4 on the keyboard. Alt F4 closes any window on PC. Okay, uh, once again I'm going to select a couple of images here and I want to show you the new review mode in Adobe Bridge CS4. This also works in CS5 where you can see loads of images selected in a 3D carousel. You can access the review mode by pressing Ctrl B or this will be Command B on a Mac. This jumps into a 3D carousel view. Now you can use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to move between these images. This is really, really nice. You can also click and drag with your mouse, if you click and drag to the left or to the right. Now be really careful, left or the right, because if you click and drag towards the bottom, or if you press the down arrow key, this will remove the image from the review mode. So one image is removed, the image hasn't been deleted on the hard drive, it's only been removed from the review mode. So I'm just selecting the images, this looks good, this, is very, this looks very similar to that image here. So I'm going to delete this one, I'll actually remove it, this one looks good. I can also, okay, I'm just going to leave it. Now I'm done, so I'm going to exit review mode by clicking this X sign in the bottom right corner of the screen. And the images are still selected. Right, let me show you what else we can preview inside Adobe Bridge. Because, you know, we can preview JPEG images on, in file browser on Windows or in a finder on a Mac. So there's nothing really cool about that. Uh, so let's see what kind of files we can preview. I'm going to jump to another folder. If you look in the top left corner of the screen, you can see this folder structure, uh, breadcrumbs as it's also called by Adobe, that shows you the path to all the folders on your computer. So I'm actually inside o 3 Dartmoor folder, which is inside pictures folder, and this is inside Mara folder, and then users and local disk. So I'm going to click on, there's also right pointing triangles in between the folders, as an example, if I click on this right pointing triangle between Mara and Pictures, this will show me the content of all the folders inside Mara folder. I want to jump quickly to my Documents folder and then Web Design, because I want to show you some other files that can be accessed by Adobe Bridge. And I'm, go I'm going to use, as an example, uh, my Mara Mulagic website, and I go into the Website folder, and I'm actually going to jump into Docs folder. Because I want to show you how we can also preview PDFs inside Adobe Bridge. Now we're going to preview PDFs 
without using Adobe Reader. You don't need to have Adobe Reader or any other PDF software installed on your computer to preview it inside Adobe Bridge. I'm going to select one of the pages here and this shows me the preview of my PDF file. I can also use the spacebar on my keyboard to access it in a full screen mode and now I can see it in full screen mode. I'm going to close it as usual, Alt F4 and I'll show you another document. This time I'll use the webmasterclass.pdf which is two page document in PDF. If you look in the preview window in my top right corner you can see this says one out of two and there's a right pointing arrow. We can use that to move between the pages and the content changes if you look in here. Trimover and Flash training. So you could read PDF documents inside Adobe Bridge. Now it gets even better. <laughs> Let me show you even more features. Th this, this will be one of the best features that I find inside Adobe Bridge. Adobe Bridge can preview all sorts of content that can that's recognized by Adobe software. I'll show you an example of a website that I've created in Adobe Flash Professional. This is the website created in Adobe Flash and I can preview it inside Adobe Bridge without a web browser, without having a Flash player installed. So I'll jump back to the website subfolder, I'll go into my photos, and then inside website folder it's refreshing the contents. I'm looking for the index file. This is index.swift. I'll make the preview window bigger so you can see that better. As soon as I select the file, the website will load. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it. And you can even hear the sound. This is the sound from the website embedded inside Flash content. But it gets even better. If you navigate this page here, I can actually use the page. I can browse between different pages on the website. I can manipulate with the menu. So if I mouse over the menu, the items move. I can also click on the menu items to navigate different pages. For example, a travel page. Let's click on it. And this opens the travel page. And I can browse between different pages on the website. Or the contact page. Or I can go back to my home page. This is a flash file. Really very interesting. There's some more features inside Adobe Bridge. There's a new export feature where you can export your content to your hard drive or to Photoshop.com. We'll talk about it in later movies. That's for now, that's for today, and I will keep you updated on all and all other amazing features inside Adobe Bridge. Thank you for today. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.